What would you do if you lost $80,000? A Midland family claims that's exactly what happened to them. They were in the process of trying to buy a new home to provide a better life for their four children. Our hopes and dreams are gone. Monica Salgado and Roland Rodriguez have four kids ranging from 4 to 11 years old. We were trying to get a house for our kids. We were trying to better ourselves. The couple says Roland's mom sacrificed. She sold his childhood home to come up with the $80,000 to buy a mobile home and a few acres of land. <laughs> She's, you know, she cried a lot and she's sad. The family walked into a Midland home sales business, met with a salesman, and that salesman asked them to wire $80,000, but to a different company. If you walk in into a legitimate be a business, you don't have second thoughts about getting scammed or nothing like that. When you wire money, especially not to a legitimate company or organization, you have no recourse to get that money back. It's heartbreaking because a lot of times this is people's life savings. Heather Massey is with the Better Business Bureau. Even if you are walking into a company, you're still dealing with an individual. So you want to research the individual. That's key. The BBB also has a wealth of information online, including a scam tracker, making it easy to see scams in our area. It's a really good idea to go on Google or your favorite search engine and punch in that person's name directly. If other people have had experiences, you will see things pop up like watch out, scam, fraud, or ripoff. As for this family, they're sharing their story so no one else will become a victim. I hope more people come forward. I hope this doesn't happen to anybody else. We're not naming the company involved because all indications are the salesman was scamming the Rodriguez family and the company. The company and the family have all been working with authorities, but so far, no one has figured out how to get the family their $80,000.